Previously, um, Tyrus Fit. This has helped you. So, what you see me doing here, the first exercise I'm going to show you, this is an inclined dumbbell front raise. And again, you will see. What up there, it's your boy, Kevin the Vectoris. No bull, just bulk, baby. What's poppin' with you, you two? <laughs> Yo, what's really good with you, man? All my gents, all my gents, my 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 heart, iron banging gents, and my fems out there that go hella hard. What's poppin' with you? It's your boy. <laughs> anyway, man, how y'all doing, man? Thank y'all for checking into this video. Hope all is well. Holiday season is upon us. I got exactly four weeks left and my bulk is finally the fuck over. No more eating like a man, man. Time to get them cuts. As my homie says, CJ, always representing pump chasers and all that shit. Cuts for the sluts, blah, blah, blah. <laughs> it's time for that, man. Today's video is a little different. This is not... Uh, something that I'm used to doing obviously as far as being injured but a lot of you guys deal with injuries just like myself and everybody else in the game don't let that shut you down injury if you're injured that is different if you are hurt that is not the same as being injured a lot of people can deal with injuries in a lot of different ways a lot of people get hurt and that puts you out of the game. If you hurt, that's different. If you just injured or sore, then there's other ways around it. That's they used to say back in the day, there's more than one way to skin a cat. And, well, no, I can't say that. Hey, is that bad to say? What? More than one way to skin a cat. No, I'm sorry. It's good? Yeah. Good. All right, anyway. <laughs> so, why am I saying that? Simply because something happened to me several weeks ago while I was doing front squats actually it's been longer than several weeks um maybe it's been two months now two and a half months i i was frequently doing front squats and as you all know i'm not a spring chicken like i used to be nobody's mcm sorry dick's still big though <laughs> anyway man i used to I, I used to i used to frequently do front squats and i would do them heavy all right and doing 405 pounds on front squat is good to do, is very awe inspiring, but you will pay a price at the end of the day. And I paid for that. Not because form was bad, just because factors just lead up to shit happening. Sometimes you can control them, sometimes you can't. All right, I don't train to get hurt, I train to make gains like all of you, but sometimes things happen. And I ended up hurting my knee. It wasn't something serious and I thought it took me a couple weeks uh, to realize the pain wouldn't go away. It took me about a month and a half to realize it's getting worse and I started to notice that my legs started to lack in the leg department because I couldn't push like I used to. So I took my black ass to the doctor. What did he say? He said no surgery needed. Luckily this is not as bad as it could be. Uh, what has happened is you strained your patella tendon in the front of your knee and there's a bursa sac that sits in the front of that and What happens that fills with fluid sometimes when they get too big we have to drain it But because yours is not that big we don't have to drain it Just take this anti-inflammatory and see me in about a month you got two you got two refills on it So having said that long story short I have bursitis a lot of you may suffer from bursitis It's a very tender feeling uh, irritation in the front of the knee. 
Some of you might feel it, some of you might not. Some of you may have it, some of you may never experience this in your life, but I have bursitis. If you happen to have that, this video is for you. If you happen to have any type of knee pain, this video is for you. If you have anything that is hindering you in the knee department from squatting or doing front squats, leg presses, whatever, this video is for you. Why do I say that? Because you know your boy likes to come through when it's time to come through. We make it do what it do. I have something that I think will be very beneficial for you. I will go into more depth, in-depth detail on this uh, at a later video. But for right now, uh, this is what I have. And it is called, if you've ever heard of KT Tape, this is called KT Tape. Bow! As you guys can see, I have now wrap my knee in what is called KT tape. I don't want to hear no hippie shit and I definitely don't want to hear no funny talk about my pink tape. Get off my nuts. <laughs> anyway, man, I'm going to show you exactly how I wrap my knee in a later video, but this right here is something that I'm doing to help uh, add more support to my knee. And let me tell you something, ever since I've been doing this, I have not felt not one ounce of pain while I leg press or squat uh, with the KT tape and and my Ray-Bans, uh, my Ray-Ban sleeves on. Uh, it has worked miracles. So uh, stay tuned, man. I got another video explaining to you how I wrap for bursitis. And for those of you uh, out there that might run or have heel or foot problems, uh, I use TT as an example, and I'll show you how we wrap for that. Thank y'all for checking in, man. Sorry the intro took so long. I love each and every one of y'all, man. We about to go to the gym and smash these legs. Because you know, show season is on its way. April 30th is not slowing down. So that means I got to make gains by all means necessary, baby. Massacre is on the way more. It's your boy, Kevin the Victorious. Third no boo, just bulk, baby. We about to go to this gym. And you know how we do when we make it do what it do. What's up guys, uh, we finally got here, uh, as you can see, I do have my knee sleeves on, so, uh, basically just throw you, I throw my tights on, on top of the, uh, on top of those uh, those KT tape wraps. And then I just put my knee sleeves on for extra support and they add extra heat. Basically just gonna start the warm up, uh, which we've already done on our hamstring curls and knee curls. And just jump into your normal routine. A lot of times when people are hurt, you got pain or whatever that is, a lot of it can be fought up here. It's a mental struggle, especially if it's a pain issue. If there's no, no major structural damage, such as bone, ligament, etc., and it's more muscular, a lot of times it's a mental block that we have to get past. And once we start to get past that, we can elevate our game to the next level. A lot of times it happens to a lot of us. It happens to me quite a bit. Anyway, uh, I do have the wraps on. I do got both my knee sleeves on. Uh, just because I got the bursitis do not mean uh, that I have to put the heavy weight bursitis. You feel what I'm saying? <laughs> so we still smashing heavy weight. Uh, jumping on front and back squats tonight. Uh, first set, uh, we're just gonna get right into it, man. Just keep smashing like we usually do, man. So appreciate y'all, man, stay tuned.
All right, guys, as you can see, I'm starting to jump into some deadlifts. Several, uh, more than a decade plus ago, snapped my back doing deadlifts when I first got started. So, we're gonna get past this mental block and start over again. Uh, obviously, you've never seen me deadlift on camera. So, I figured I might as well give it a try. All the foreign police out there, obviously you're gonna have some tickets to write me because my form is gonna be hella fucked up. Probably my grip and stance. Uh, but instead of hate, give me some advice. Tell me where I can improve because I ain't been down this road in a long time, baby. But we still gonna push this way. Let's get it. Fucking two chains, fuck him. What up, dog? <laughs> All right, guys, we are finally done. Finally. Finally done after two plus hours in the gym. Uh, as you saw in the video, uh, you either call it KT tape, which is kinocentric tape, or you can call it rock tape. You can call it whatever the fuck you want to call it. I call it getting in the fleek mode. Cause that shit turned your boy on fleek tonight, as you could tell. I have never, I'm not gonna say never, I have not done deadlifts since I've started this channel a year and a half ago. Uh, you guys never saw me do deadlifts. Uh, tonight was the first time for me to do deadlifts. Uh, for whatever reason, I felt like it's time to step out of the mold and do some extra shit to help uh, elevate these legs as much as I can within the next four and a half weeks. Obviously, I'm not gonna stop lifting heavy. Uh, con on the contrary, actually, I'll probably try to lift even heavier, and if not, obviously, my strength is gonna come down cutting, but I will do a shit ton more reps with as high a maximum amount of volume as I possibly can. Having said that, I'll add in more deadlifts. I didn't think that I could actually do it, but again, like I'm saying, man, whenever you are hurt, that's different, but if you have an injury, and it's muscular and it's not, it's not a constructional injury, then obviously you have mental blocks that you have to fight through to, to, to see if actually you can actually do it, to feel comfortable again, to get back into that zone where you can push. And that's what happened to me uh, tonight, so I'll just show you that. So maybe that can influence you and encourage you to try to break past that mental barrier so that you can reach that next stage and, and keep pushing forward in your journey. 
So, as you see, you probably can't see, I still got my knee wraps on. I really am not gonna take them off till I get home. Uh, the KT tape, that shit hurts. I'm trying to take that off because it's sticky as hell. <laughs> but, you saw your boy get 495 all day, just me, what? Hell yeah, I'ma get hype on that shit. I've done 495 on a box before. I never did 495 free. And for all you fucking foreign police out there that wanna squat down low like Spider-Man to see if a nigga ass go ass to grass, I gets low, baby. Low to the flow. And I got them shits back up. So I did that not to, not to boast. Man, I'm not a great squatter, nor am I a power lifter. Uh, I just like incorporating powerlifting exercises and movements in my regiment so that I can, uh, I like to go back and forth, powerlifting, bodybuilding. It all plays the same role, in my opinion. It benefits, so why not? So, thank you guys for watching. I hope I encourage some of you to. Hey. What's up? Not... Oh, and you know what? And T. Thank you. My bad. TT got, TT got 135 pounds on the front squat, or, uh, on the deadlift. And deadlift. And she got 135 on her dead. So she, she making progress as well. Uh, got a big transformation journey video coming up. Uh, for those of you uh, that are interested in where T came from, uh, I was stay, fat. stay tuned because next November, she is actually going to compete herself. And I cannot wait to get that shit on video. Uh, that'll be life changing as well. So I appreciate you guys checking in, man. Thank y'all. Again, I can't say thank you enough for all the love and support. Real spill. That shit goes a long way. And it definitely does not go unnoticed, man. So thank you guys again. Leave your comments in the comment box below. If you like this video, damn it, hit the thumbs up. If you don't, then don't hit the thumbs up, man. Do whatever the fuck you want to do. Have a happy Thanksgiving, Turkey Day, all that good shit, man. Make them gains, man. Don't make excuses. That's all you got to do. Shaboy! Oh! Kevin the back, Taurus! Boom! No boom, just bump. Baby! Pop that shit off, man. Beast mode style. We killed that, man. Master's on deck. Love y'all, man. And I'm out. Check, 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 check